This is problem 3.43 from the text. The problem calls for a mesh analysis to find the voltage VAB and the current I0 in the given circuit. So let's get started. So the idea is to use mesh analysis. So we will identify the meshes in the in the given network. The three meshes are the one here with a mesh current that is right there which is I1. A second mesh which is this one right here with a current I2. And a third one here with a current I3. Now one of the first things we also notice about this circuit is there are no dependent sources. Um, generally a problem with uh, no dependent sources of any kind whether voltage or current dependent sources tends to be slightly simpler to work with. Uh, so we will we will use this the analysis here that's going to be pretty straightforward. So our mesh analysis then, so I'm going to say mesh with I1, so the equations, mesh with I1 gives me the equations. I start from the bottom and I go minus, so I start from the bottom here and I go up and come back so that's minus 80 that's the first element plus 20 I1 plus the current to this element is I1 minus I3 because I3 flowing is flows this way and I1 flows the other way so it's 30 times I1 minus I3 plus the current through this is going to be 20 times I1 minus I2 equals 0. One of the nice things about having working with just dependent sources is the all the terms, the I1 term pretty much is going to be contributing to each of these resistances. So we can we could have also written this directly as minus 80 plus, so that's 20 plus 30 plus 20, which is 70. I1 and then just subtract the other two which tells me that the those are going to be minus 30 I3 sorry so I'm going to write them in order so I'm going to write minus 20 I2 minus 30 I3 equals 0 or I can rewrite this equation as 70 I1. In fact, I will write it as 7 I1 minus 2 I2 minus 3 I3 equals 8. So this is my first equation. So my second equation is the mesh with I2 mesh current will give me, um, let's apply this technique which says minus 80 plus 20 plus 30 plus 20 is again 70 I2 and the common elements are this one and this one because they are shared with those two. So that's going to be minus 20 I1 minus 30 I3. 
so that again gives me a 7 so I'm gonna write them in order so I'm gonna write it as minus 2 I 1 that's that plus 7 I 2 minus 3 I 3 equals 8 so this is my second equation and my mesh with I 3 gives me an expression which is going to be so now again I notice that I 3 is the one so that pretty much has to be 90 I 3 and those are minus 30 and so that's plus or rather minus 30 I1 minus so I'm just taking off the tens so that should have been 90 30 I minus 30 I1 minus 30 I2 equals 0 or I1 plus I2 equals or sorry I1 plus I2 minus 3I3 equals 0 so these are my three equations so now we'll use let's solve this in MATLAB and we enter this array in MATLAB as 7 minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 7 minus 3 and 1 1 minus 3 and so my answer then which is I1 I2 I3 is given by the inverse of this times the array 8 8 0 which when plugged into MATLAB gives me an I1 value of 16 by 9 which tells me so I1 is 16 by 9 which tells me that my actually it tells me that I3 is 16 by 9 which is nothing but which has the same value as 1.778 amps and the reason I'm looking at I3 is because we notice from this picture here that I0 is equal to I3 so that's my I0 so once I know I I0 so this is also equal to I0 so I, I know I0 and I know the so VAB is given by 30 which is going to be 